couple of the heads, but the main head originates at the sacrum, and that's why they call it sacrospinalis. So if I ask for origin of that, just tell me sacrum, and you're good to go. Okay. Um, diaphragm makes this like kind of bowl. See, like it's like an upside down bowl between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity. So that's the diaphragm, and this is the central tendon of the diaphragm, which is later on in your terms list. Okay. Diaphragm, central tendon. What is central tendon? Way at the very end of your terms list. Like at the very bottom. Central tendon of the diaphragm. Yeah. Um, okay, for the intercostals, they're between the ribs. The externals are here, and right underneath them you have the internal intercostals. Mm -hmm. But to keep life easy, I'll ask for external intercostals here on the outside, and then internal intercostals on the inside. Okay. Also, they are at the same location, but one is um, one's outside, one's deeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Between ribs, right? The obliques. Yeah. Ex um, external obliques out here. Internal obliques right underneath of it. So you'd have external obliques covering that, and the internal obliques deep. What do you mean? External oblique, internal oblique. See how the fibers are running in the opposite direction? Oh, so the one going um, yeah, up so to down? Yeah, like if you put your hands on your hips, the way your fingers are pointing are like the external obliques. So they go down like this. Yeah. The internal obliques are going like this. So external, internal. So they make kind of like an X. So external is the one more body curve? More what? Body curve. Vertical. Ver a little bit. Mm, kind of going down and in. Like a V. Yeah. Um, rectus abdominis is the six pack muscle in the front. Goes straight. <laughs> um, transverse abdominis, really deep. Makes like a belt around your lower belly. Um, quadratus lumborum, deep back muscle. See the little squares right there? <laughs> Um, tensor fasciolata, this little short one in the hip. That attaches all the way here. Yep, to the iliotibular track, which you'll get to later. Um, gluteus maximus is the butt. Gluteus medius peeks out from beneath the butt. And then for iliopsoas, there's two parts to it. Psoas major is the tall one, the long skinny one, goes up high. Iliacus fills the iliac fossa, and then they go through this, which is the inguinal ligament, and they come together, and they're the iliopsoas. It's the what? The iliopsoas. Oh, okay. So you just, once they're merged, they're iliopsoas.